Hey guys, down at the Botanic Gardens today, doing a little bit of pest control. Chasing a few tilapia, trying to get rid of a few out of here. There's quite a lot in this system. Got my little girl Rubes, have a little bit of fun. Got a float that's getting attacked. You can see a few ripples around it. There's a little bit of a worm on there and a small like eight or size 10 Gemagatsu long shank hook. They're definitely having a nibble, Ruby. See that? Yes. You want one to take it all the way down. Oh, you might have one. Here's Ruby with her tilapia. Getting rid of some of the pests from the botanic gardens. These vermin are in here everywhere taking over the place and it's good to get rid of a few. Is it fun catching it? Yes. And what are you using for bait? Uh, worms. Worms with a bit of a float. Bit of fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to cast for you, Ruby. Yep. Throw it out there, the float. Let's see. Oh, they're having a go. They're having a go there. When the float starts to run like that, give it a strike, Ruby. Give it a strike more. More, more. Straight up. It's only a little one, Rubes, but you got another one. That's quick. You do have to set the hook, even with the float, I find. Keep going. Oh, we just lost it at the weed. You go. Wind, wind, wind. Wind, wind, wind to the edge. Still got him? Yeah, still there. All right, swap over. There we go. Right, so we've got it. Little tilapia. It's really hard. I'm taking back over from Ruby at the edge of the weed there because we're losing a couple at the edge of the weed. We need to really skull drag them over the top to get them in. We lose them at the edge. Yep. Okay, wind fast, wind fast. I'll let you try and do it over the weed. Keep going. Keep going. Doing well, doing really well. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Get him out of there. Whoa! <laughs> Jumping tilapias. Check him out. Little guy. The weed wahoo. It does. He's bigger. Yeah, it's going to be a bit wet. Yes. Spinning like a disco. Just down at Botanic Gardens, guys. Doing a little bit of pest control for the day. Getting rid of a few tilapia. Simple rig. Just mono fishing line. A float. About 30, 40 centimetres of mono leader. Small size 8 hook. And some worms. Yeah. We're getting a fisher cast now. That's so good fun. It's really good to get these guys out of here. They're a pest. Do not throw away your fish from your fish tanks into the wild. We've had jag cichlids, we've had peacock bass, we've had tilapia. They're all here because they were released here. We'll release somewhere. You can tell a you can tell a pest fish because the dorsal fin and the ventral fin is longer and pointier and it sticks out past the tail wrist, sticks out past there, goes back behind it. Native fish will not go past the tail wrist. So, he's vermin. You gonna try and get him over the weed by yourself? Yeah. Wind fast over the weed. Keep him over the top, keep him skipping over the top if you can. That's it, good, good. Well done. Hey, the little guy, look. Just a little one. It's good to get them out anyway, because they get big and then they have millions of babies and they're a mouth brooder. So they keep their babies in their mouths. A lot of them actually do survive. And they can live in very poor water quality, variance of temperatures and salinities. They're really a, a real pest. The cane toad of the waterways, they say these are. Give them a zero value here in Australia. They're good for nothing. Get rid of them. You bury them, you put them in a bin. Don't take them home. You can't eat them. Otherwise, you get a big fine. Get rid of them as soon as you can. Bury them or chuck them in a bin. Don't put them back in the water and don't leave them on the bank because sometimes those eggs are viable and they might survive still or make their way back to the water with the rain. You mean? Yeah. It's like six. Six is way more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another two on the ground. 
Oh, he's a bigger one. She's fighting. Maybe it's the turtle again. Nah, I'll help you. It's in the weed here. I'm not going to get this guy out here. Here we go, we got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, we got him. Yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. oh just... hey, Guys, that's a jag cichlid. That's probably even worse than tilapia. The tilapia will outnumber these guys a thousand to one. But these guys are aggressive. They've actually got teeth on them and they're a real predator. That's a jag cichlid. These things cause a lot of damage to your juvenile barramundi when they're 30, 40 mil long and they're coming up into the fresh, into your mullet, mangrove jacks, those fish that move up, as well as all the natives. So it's really good to get this guy out of here, a jag cichlid. He does have some pretty big teeth on it and a big mouth. You can see how he would just engulf a whole bunch of stuff. It. Good. Looking like a strong fish, Ruth. Bring him over the top of the weed. Fast, fast, fast. Keep your rod tip high. High, high, high. Keep it over. That's it. Good. Very good. Well done. There we go. Good job, Rube. Nice work. Keep it across the top of the weed. Rod tip high. Rod tip high. Rod tip high. And fast wind. Well done. Well done. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a snakehead gudgeon. Awesome. Oh. Look at some footage of that. New species. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. That is really pretty. Look at the spots. Look at the big orange fins. It's a big snakehead. You picked it for something different, didn't you? Yeah. He, he struck uh, pretty hard and he yeah. jumped, did he? Yeah, and did, did a bit of a run. Big, uh, big tail flick when he took it. And then he went for a bit of a run, so I knew it wasn't a tilapia. That's a native, Australian native, beautiful fish. Let's get him back in, eh? Yep. Okay, hey guys, just wrapping up today's session. Do a little bit of pest control down the Botanic Gardens today. We've got a whole bunch of tilapia, um, probably about 20, 25 of them, and um, a jaguar cichlid, which is a bit scary too, because they're extremely vicious, and it's a real shame they're in here. Toddy's caught four or five of them, and I got my first one today. It's not a good thing. Um, they're in here smashing the little barramundi when they're moving up into the freshwater safe havens when they're 30, 40 mil long, trying to get out of the gauntlet, which is the estuary where they will get eaten. They're meant to be moving up into these safe water holes where there's plenty of food, plenty of habitat, and less predators. But if these guys are up in here, the jags especially, will be giving them a real hiding. The tilapia that are here are bad too. They outnumber everything a thousand to one. But yeah, we had a great fun today. Um, Ruby had her glass tip rod. I was casting it out for her and then letting her wind them in, giving her a little bit of a hand. So, um, signing off now, guys. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.